I'm Steve Morris. This is a engine that we have converted for uh, Don Webster and Jason Lang down in Trinidad. Um, this is for a pair of engines and what we've done is we've converted this engine over from a 1471 that it had on it. This is a powerboat engine. Um, we've converted this over from the 1471 carbureted engine that it had in it to one of our EFI pro-charged engines. You can see here this is one of our pro-voluted F3 130s. Uh, we made all our bracketry and everything for this. Now we also we made all this bracketry so uh, we're not driving it right now because I don't run a C pump on the dyno. But uh, we run it so our bracketry uses all the stock existing drives the C pump, the power steering pump, uh, drives out all accessories, alternator, everything on here. Now we don't have it on here right now, but uh, we do drive everything on there. All we do is just put the belt on. But like I said, I don't run the seat pump on the dyno, so uh, we have that off. So we have custom made all this bracketry, support mandrel, uh, driving the, the oil, dry sump oil pump down there. Um, I'll show you the comparison between where this ran exactly as they raced it before. Uh, these engines uh, go in a 50 foot Mystic uh, cat boat, catamaran. So anyways, very nice boat and we hope to do very well with uh, everything here. Uh, as you can see, we made the uh, manifold top conversion, uh, IC3000 intercooler. You can see the supercharger goes right directly into the intercooler as this fits in the V of the boat. Um, believe it or not, all things said and done, this still ends up being just slightly less weight than what the 1471 was. Holly EFI system. Uh, it's all, uh, we do all the tune work, we do everything right here, of course. Uh, this uh, engine, they sent us one engine and we're sending a, the kit to do the second one and then uh, I'll go down to Trinidad and, and uh, tune in the boat with them uh, on the second one. So uh, this is a 600 cubic inch, uh, has our camshaft, this particular engine because uh, they had broken it, that's how I got associated with uh, Donald and Jason, uh, was broken, they had broken a connecting rod in it, so this has our complete package, the other engine, but we duplicated what was there as far as compression ratio, etc. Uh, but this has our camshaft in it, so the other engine will get our camshaft and uh, all the EFI, uh, manifold top, intercooler, supercharger, bracketry, everything to go along with it. And we'll already have all the tune work done on this engine, the other engine is a clone, uh, so outside of some minor tuning, we should be uh, really good to go. Uh, we've been maintaining, as you can see here, the, we're still using the chiller. So we circulate all water uh, and we're trying to maintain about in between 60 and 70 degree water going to the intercoolers. Uh, but the water goes through the chiller first, then circulates out of the chiller into the larger intercooler uh, and then back into the tank. So this would be the same thing as uh, the seat pump would go its own section into the chiller, into the intercooler, and then back out of the boat. Um, what we'll do here is uh, we'll go out and we'll make a pull on it. Now this is our 93 octane fuel. Uh, we have uh, a solid full day of uh, long extensive hits on this, trying to work out some mapping and tuning in the uh, low, mid, and, and uh, part throttle applications. Um, and there's always a little bit to do in the boat, so that's not a big deal. But uh, real happy with this and uh, what I'll do is I will go out and uh, set the camera down and uh, put it on a tripod. Uh, 4,000 RPM, 
755, 1,008 foot pounds of torque at 7 pounds of boost. The, let's see, 5,000 RPM, 1147, uh, 10 pounds of boost, 1,202 foot pounds of torque. 6,000 is 1523, 15 pounds of boost. These are air fuel ratios. We're a little lean up here, I'll fix that. Take care of some of this little bit of stuff, so that's not a problem. Um, 6,500, we're 1689 at uh, 18 pounds of boost, 1147 air fuel. And right through there, it actually hits a real sweet spot where it jumps up quite a bit, and that's where it's really getting happy on the boost. Now we have a rev limiter that's right in here at, at uh, 7,000, and it just starts tickling right there. But 1818 uh, at 21 pounds of boost, 11.43 uh, AFR. 1183 and uh, as we can see here, we have, uh, well, I can't really show you all that well on the, on the screen, but our IATs, which are really good um, with the Holley system here. With the dual intercooler, IATs are really nice. Uh, we're just about 65 degrees with 70 degree water. So, really quite happy with that. Let me turn this fan off. Um, anyways. Very happy with that, and uh, like I said, that is a uh, 93 octane fuel uh, belt, or it's not actually a belt driven pump, but it's a uh, Peterson pump with a uh, Enderly pump drive on the end of it. So the oil pump and the fuel pump drive off the same. Uh, but anyways, real happy with that, and I uh, look forward to putting this in the boat and uh, running this down in Trinidad at the next race. Also. I wanted to show you the, uh, kind of forgot, show you the difference. Now this is what it was, uh, it was supposed to have made, I believe, 1150 or 1200. Uh, on our dyno it only made uh, 1040, uh, which is not uncommon. But the blue line is horsepower, the green line is torque. Now that is what it was uh, for. Now we can see we're actually about uh, at three pounds of boost less at 3,500 were 40 foot-pounds of torque less uh, as it went down here. Uh, you can see horsepower is nearly identical and just crosses down below. Uh, but you can see the line here. This is the old 1471. Uh, this is the Pro Charger. And uh, that's our eight, 1,800 horsepower up there. And uh, that's our 1040 right there. So kind of interesting just to see the, the line and the linear uh, power or linear power curve uh, that you get with the uh, uh, centrifugals. But anyways, I'm Steve Morris. Have a great day.